So number 29, the number of customers at the Cougar Deli for the last seven days are given here. Find the mean, median, and mode. Well, uh, let's do this in the order I feel like doing. Mode is most often, and just scanning these, you can see there's uh, three 19s. So the mode is the mode is 19. Uh, the way to remember mode is um, mode is most often. M O most often. M O. Okay, the mean is just going to be the average. Well, uh, let's do the median next. So median, the way to remember median is the first letter is um, E. I, I'm sorry, the first letter is M and the last letter is N, so this is the middle number. Mean, you just have to remember, is the average. Uh, I don't know if that's ever very helpful. But okay, so let's find the median. Let's write these down. We have 18, 19, 19. I'm just writing them down in order, right? I can even cross them out as we go. Three 19s. We have a 24, a 27, and 28. 24, 27, and 28. The, um, the middle number is 19. Gosh, I hope that's right. Alright, if it's not, what am I going to do? Okay, and now we have... That doesn't look like an 8. So to come up with our average, we have to, we have to uh, 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 figure, figure that out um, by adding them all up. Uh, are there any fast ways to adding them up? Let's do... Um, Let's do off of off of 20. So this is minus 2 from 20. This is minus 1, minus 1, minus 1 from 20. This is 4 more than 20. This is uh, 7 more than 20. And this is 8 more than 20. So some of these are going to cancel. Um, we, got, we can cancel 4 of those with um, these 4. We have minus 1 plus 7, so that would be plus 6. So we have... Uh, 14 more than 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 20. So we have 7, 20s is 140, plus 14 is 154. And we would divide that by 7 days, and the average would be 22. So the mean is 22. The median, we said, was 19, and the mode, the most often, was 19 also. Simplify 5a cubed b, and that whole thing squared. We uh, talked about this before, but it's, it's, it's always helpful to remember that this is um, 5a cubed b times 5a cubed b. If you rearrange these terms and get them close to each other, um, you have, uh, you know, let's just cross them out as we go. 5 times 5 is 25. a cubed plus times a cubed is a to the 6, let's cross those guys out, and uh, oops, b times b is b squared. And this one right here, uh, we have to uh, obey PEMDAS, which means um, uh, parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. That's the order of things. So we have, um, we have uh, parentheses around this guy with a squared. So first we want to square him and then multiply that by 4x cubed. So let's do 4x cubed. The next step I'll do is I'm going to square everything in this parentheses. So that's times 25 times x to the 14th times y squared. And just like we did above, we could uh, uh, start canceling stuff. But the first of all, these, these constants is 100. Um, the variable x is x to the 17th, collecting all those powers. And then y squared. And now here, um, we could just uh, cancel stuff out. We could, we could write this out the long way, but my penmanship is terrible with this. Um, uh, so let's just say we can cancel out 16 and 8. 8, right? And so we're div really dividing top and bottom by 8. We're left with 1 down here, and we're left with a, a, a 2, right? And x to the 11th over x to the 5th, uh, all 5 of these are canceled with 
five of the eleven here leaves six. So we let we just if you can make out what we have here of two times x to the sixth. And here we have m to the fourteenth uh, over n to the fourteenth. M to the fourteenth over n to the fourteenth. Quite frankly, I don't. I don't. It, it says to simplify. I don't. Uh, that's. I wouldn't fight anyone about this, but uh, I don't see how that's much simpler than than the given. A spinner is divided into eight equal parts, numbered one through eight. What's the probability of spinning a number less than four? So that's that's a number less than four. It's either one, two, three, and that's it. There's three possibilities. I'm oh, sorry, three. Uh, would count as successes. Those are numbers less than four. That's successes over eight possibilities. A number greater than six, so not including six, that's only seven or eight. Um, and that's, you just count them. One, two. There's two out of eight possibilities. And you can reduce that to one quarter. And an even number, there are four even numbers. That would be two, four, six, eight. So it's four eighths, or well, one half. Okay, so I can do these here. One time. Graph each linear inequality. We have y is less than two x minus one. Um, commonly, we'll, we'll, uh, uh, we teachers will say, first ignore the inequality and just graph it like any other line. Okay, so the y-intercept is minus one right there and the slope is positive 2 which and, and slope is rise over run so if um, the slope is 2 that's the same as uh, 2 over 1 so it rises 2 for every time it runs 1 so it rises 2 runs 1 rises 2 runs 1 rises 2 runs 1 now that we have our we have our oops we have our sketch of our line um, since it's uh, the possibility of, of, of the solution being on this line is zero, I mean the possibility, there's no possibility because it's just less than, so we draw a dashed line so that's like not including it, and now our test point would be zero, zero. Is zero less than, let's put a question mark there, is zero less than two times zero minus one? No. Um, so uh, uh, zero, zero, which is on on this side of the line is not on there. I'm sorry, it's not a solution, so we must shade over here. That's the fun part. That's when we get to take out all of our teenage energy. Okay, so four is less than, greater than, uh, sorry, four. Y is greater than or equal to minus three X plus one. Okay, we go to the Y intercept, which is plus one, and um, our rise over run is minus 3x, so this will um, sink 3 for every time it runs 1, right? The opposite of rising is sinking. So it runs 1, sinks 1, 2, 3, boom. Runs 1, sinks 3, 1, 2, 3, boom. Solid line, right? Because it can be, it, whoops, it can be on that line. The solid line is, man, I can't draw it align with this program okay um, and zero zero is on this side of the line okay I just want to uh, say that if I drew this better you could pick zero zero as a test point um, but uh, you should be ready to test other points because zero zero might be on the line so let's take a point over here uh, minus two minus two so is minus two greater than or equal to question I'm up a question mark is it greater than or equal to minus three times minus two, right? Because we picked the point minus two, minus two, so we put those in for x and y. Um, sorry, y and x plus one. Is, is, this, is this true? It sure is. Minus two is greater than or equal to. This is, oh no, it's, it's false. Gah, what am I talking about? Um, is it greater than or equal to negative three times negative two is positive six plus one, that's seven. That's 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 just that's just wrong. So it's not going to be shaded over here. Again, we like to shade this like this, and just we're done. 